Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a couple of sprites for a button which will be switching between each other when you click that button. So I open Inkscape, create new rectangle, make its corners round, change a color, duplicate this rectangle pressing Ctrl plus D keys, bring this new rectangle a bit down here, change its color to darker one, press page down key to put it behind first rectangle, duplicate second rectangle, Try to make it bigger holding Ctrl plus Shift keys. Turn off snapping options, make it bigger with more success. Set its color to darker one. Put it behind other rectangles, pressing page down key. Bring it here. Looks like a button. Add some text, make it bold, make it bigger holding Ctrl key. Change color, duplicate it, change color to darker one, put it behind, pressing page down key. Bring it here to create a kind of shadow. Beautiful. Select all of it. Duplicate it. Move it to the right holding Ctrl key. Select upper rectangle along with signs. Bring it down holding Ctrl key. Great. Important thing is that our buttons should have same width and height. Width is ok, but height is not. Here we have a little difference. Let's fill this gap using a little trick. I create new rectangle. Now I enable snapping feature and scale this rectangle so its upper edge snaps to upper edge of my button. Now I move it to the right, holding Ctrl key and scale it lower edge so it snaps to upper edge of pressed button. Now I set opacity of this rectangle to zero, so it becomes invisible and our buttons have same resolution now. Cool. Time to import these buttons to Unity. Select first one and import it as ping file to wherever you want to. I want it here. Make sure selection will be imported and hit import button. Select second button along with that invisible rectangle and import it same way. Done. Here are our buttons saved as ping files. Select them and drag and drop them into Unity project folder. Create new UI button. Double click to focus on it. I like canvas to be scaled with screen size. Back to button. Anchor it at the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. I don't need text, so I wipe it out. Button is blank now. Drag and drop first button sprite into source image slot and now we have our button. Image is stretched. Checking ink preserve aspect option will fix this issue. Make button bigger holding shift key. To make button switch sprites when it's clicked, I change transition from color tint to sprite swap and drag and drop my second sprite into pressed sprite slot. That's it. Now I can hit play and see how it works. Hope you find something useful in this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.